Hi, and welcome to another course in MicroStrategy's Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Command Center. Command Center is a MicroStrategy mobile feature that enables you to simultaneously control several iPads running your mobile app. You can think of Command Center as a portable and inexpensive version of NASA Mission Control. An important application of this tool is for a presenter to control an array of screens that display related content. In this video, I will show you how Command Center works, how to configure Command Center, and how to design documents to take advantage of Command Center functionality. You will need a Macintosh computer with Xcode, the latest iOS build of MicroStrategy Mobile, and an iOS developer license from Apple. Command Center works well with an array of displays and Apple TVs. For more information, see the Collaboration, Annotation, and Apple TV course. Configuring your app for Command Center requires mobile SDK. For that reason, you should be familiar with the tools described in the iOS Rebranding Environment Setup course. To begin, open your MicroStrategy Mobile Xcode project. You enable Command Center by editing a custom property list file. The Project Navigator pane on the left side of the screen displays the components of your project. Right-click the custom folder and select Add Files to MicroStrategy Mobile. The corresponding file on the Mac hard drive displays. Be sure to select the checkbox for adding the file to the MicroStrategy Mobile iPad application target. I'm going to add the MSTR Customizations property list file. Then click the file to edit in Xcode. This file contains custom settings for your app. The sample settings can give you an idea of what's possible, but the one that matters for Command Center isn't on the list yet. Secondary click anywhere in the property list and select Add Row. In the key column, type Collaboration Enabled. Set the type to Boolean and set the value to Yes. And that's all it takes to enable Command Center for your app. Next, I'll show you how to sync up several iPads using Command Center. I'm running the app on two devices. Now that I've enabled Command Center, special icons display at the top of each iPad screen. To start a conference, tap the Command Center icon and select Start Conference. To connect another iPad to the conference, on that iPad, tap the Command Center icon, tap Join Conference, and select the appropriate conference. Now, selectors with the same name will sync across all devices in the conference. For example, there are now two iPads in the conference. Changing the selected call center on one iPad will instantly change the selection on other iPads in the conference. The real power of Command Center comes into play when you're controlling related documents that have selectors with the same names. In this example, two iPads with MicroStrategy Mobile are in the same conference. The call center selector in the region trend document is synchronized with the selector near the top of the call center comparison document. When I select New York, the choice instantly affects both documents. Notice that the content at the bottom of the call center comparison document does not change. Now the selector in the trends document changes to San Francisco. But in the call center comparison document, only the selector at the top reflects the selection. I configured the selector at the bottom to operate independently. I can set it to Washington, D.C. without affecting the other selectors. Here's how you control selector synchronization using Command Center. Selectors are synchronized only if they have the same name. I'll switch to MicroStrategy Web to show you how this works. In the Region Trend document, the selector for Call Center attribute is called Call Center Selector. In the Call Center Comparison document, the selector at the top is also called Call Center Selector. This is how Command Center knows to synchronize the two selectors for devices in the same conference. The selector at the bottom of the document is not synchronized with the others because it has a different name. You have seen how to configure Command Center, how it works on iOS devices, and how to set up your documents. 
Before we wrap up, I'll cover some of the options for displaying mobile content. The most common way to use Command Center is for one presenter to manipulate several synchronized documents on large displays that everyone can see. This is a very effective way to consolidate your content and present to an audience in a boardroom. Alternatively, you can provide a wall of information in an entryway or a common area. The simplest method for displaying your app content on large screens is to use AirPlay in combination with an Apple TV for each display. Each iPad connects to an Apple TV over Wi-Fi, which then connects to a display. However, there are other uses for Command Center that do not require external displays. One way you can use Command Center is to enable several members of a conference to view a combination of shared and personalized information. This is great in situations where multiple people are working towards a common goal driven by metrics. For example, one member of this conference manages the Southwest region and the other member is responsible for web. The vertical bar graph displays region-specific information, while the rest of the document pertains to the entire company. Each member of the conference can control the category selector, but the visualization in the top right displays different information depending on each user's region. And that's a wrap for this MicroStrategy Mobile App Developer Academy course on Command Center.